James, I suppose we shouldn't really be surprised anymore when you score in, in the last minute. You, you kept going to the end again and, and you've got the equaliser. Yeah, I think the lads, you know, I've just said in there, it epitomises what we've been about all season. Uh, the lads never, never know when they beat. Uh, they never lie down for anybody and they keep going. And as a manager, that, that pleases me very much. And, um, you know, it makes, it makes me proud. You came here knowing York had a formidable recent record. They hadn't conceded a lot of goals. It was a very tight game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was tight. Um, I think we knew what, what to expect. The, when we got here, the grass was a little bit longer. It was dry. But fortunately for us, I think the, uh, the rain came down and, and greased the, the surface up a little bit. I think we tried to play football. Um, and they went very direct, which is what they've been doing in recent weeks. Uh, Nigel, you know, they've done a they've done a great job. Nigel's just received the uh, Manager of the Month award, as you know, can be um, a bit of a poison trophy at times. But you know, I think we 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 knew what to expect. We did our homework on on York as usual, and um, I thought the lads stood up to it very well. Um, I think the penalty was soft. To say the least, there's another decision about five minutes from the end. It's exactly the same in the middle of the pitch. Not as big a decision for the referee, and he uh, he just waves it away. So for us, it's a it's a critical decision. You know, it's a it's a it's a game changer, and um, you're just looking for that level of consistency. But you know, I've, I've got nothing but praise for the players. They they never know when they're beaten, and they never never lie down and. And that's the spirit we've got in inside the dressing room. They'll they look each other in the eye and they, they can honestly say that they they run until the final whistle um, for each other and for the club, you know, for the badge that they wear on the chest. And you know, as their as their manager and as, as their leader, that makes me makes me proud of them. And uh, you know, it make, should be, should make them proud of themselves. Did you ever doubt you could get back in it? You, you didn't create heaps of chances in that second half, but eventually you got one. Yeah, I thought I thought the reaction to their goal was brilliant from us. Uh, I thought we, uh, you know, we had we had a word with Coyote, and uh, I think I might just just get him angry before every game if he if he if he starts if he starts to play like that. He won everything in the air. We was getting support up to him. Um, we made a couple of substitutions, sort of changed the formation a little bit, and um, you know Lee Lee was come on, took the corner. It was a great ball. I think the keep the keeper was. Overly, maybe overly aggressive at times uh, as a young keeper uh, with his starting position, uh, even though he's done you know, a great job for, for York in, in recent weeks and today. But um, he sort of uh, undercooked it a little bit. The ball's gone over him, and, and who's there is uh, he's, he's Shea McCartan. And everybody, including myself, all the lads are delighted for him because he started off the season for us and he was unfortunate not to get a half a yard tap in or a header like that, and I believe if he, if he would have done, then things would have been a lot different for him this season, but he's conducted himself in a manner which is befitting a professional footballer. He's um, he's always you know, remained a character in the dressing room. The lads absolutely adore him because of his, you know, because of his bubbliness, um, and he's, you know, he's, he's, a, he's, he's definitely a player that we see uh, has a lot of potential, and um, this is obviously a a bit late in the season, he came over to me and said, Gaffer, it's, um, it's about time, isn't it? And I said, yes, yes, Seamus, it is. But, you know, I'm just delighted for him. He, he's, he's got us the point today, uh, as well as the other lads. But, um, you know, all the lads are, are the first ones you've seen him. That's how, that's how much they think of him and that's how much, you know, we, we think of him and he's, he's conducted himself very well this season, although his chances have been limited. Conventional wisdom says 50 points keeps you in the Football League. Is it going to be enough? I don't. I don't. Well, I do care about that, but I, you know, I want as many points as we can get. We we go into every game hoping to and trying to to win it, because um, I believe every every team in in the league is is beatable if if we're on song and we're on our day. But we just got to keep working hard and and keep trying to uh, produce results. Um, I actually thought after we equalised, we could have, you know. We, we were in the ascendancy and we, we had good pressure and uh, I thought we maybe we were going to get another one but that was uh, you know asking a little bit too much and um, it's just I'm just pleased for the boys pleased for the lads because they deserve it they, like you say they never they never give up and uh, they, yeah they deserve the point there are a lot of teams still involved at the bottom of the table aren't they you've 
this point just keeps you away from touching distance, doesn't it? Yeah, results today have been horrendous for us elsewhere, uh, I'll be honest with you. So it, it could end up being the, the most important point of the uh, of the season. Um, I think our goal difference is, is another major plus. We, um, we've we worked hard on that and, and we haven't conceded as many goals as we were doing at the beginning of the season. And um, that could be, if needed, you know, an extra extra sort of point. But hopefully, between now and the end of the season, four games left, we can we can rack up some points and and sort of uh, do ourselves justice.